Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru. Today with a formula called VLOOKUP. Now this is another version of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP from different sheets. Uh, I have taken an example over here and the example is for a class of students uh, whose names are John, Mike, Haman, Rajiv, Ashish, Charlie, Kurat, Raju, Janice and so on. Oh, we have the latest hottest Indian sensations, uh, Muni and Sheila too. <laughs> and say these uh, the subjects, say English, Maths and Science. Now we want to get their marks. Uh, how much marks did it score in these subjects? And in sheet 3, we have their data. Uh, we have the names on, of the students and the marks of these, sub, uh, of these agents of the students in these different subjects. Now we see that uh, the <laughs> that was just a trick. Uh, the marks are in English, math, science, history, geography, and French. And in sheet one, we only need the marks for English, math, and science. So how are we gonna do that? So we are gonna use VLOOKUP. So the VLOOKUP formula starts with is equal to V L O O K U P. Well, U P bracket open. Now first thing what they say look up value that means what do we want to look up for based upon this data we look up would search the different the other data so we have to specify based on this search the other data now you see this is highlighted and it says to go to the next thing table array you need to press comma so now comes table array now table array is your data range where is your data so you need to click on sheet 3 and select your complete data this is my complete data so I select it and then I press comma it says comma now now comes the important part it says column index number now the column index number means that every column this is called a column a vertical stack is called column and a horizontal stack is called a row so if we look up says from which column do you want the data for John say now we are looking for marks in English so which is in column 2 why is it column 2 because the f data from uh, the table array which we select the first column would automati automatically become column 1 so second column is column 2 so I need to say two comma now it says approximate match or exact match so if you press one it will say approximate match if you press zero it will give you exact match so I'll press zero bracket close and enter and here's your result 98 let's just check John got how many marks in English John got 98 marks in English isn't it cool easy to do uh, there is another way of doing it very simple one again so we want to uh, we want to see how many marks did he get for maths. So what we are going to do is we are going to, going to click on formulas, insert function, type in the name of the formula. We look up, click on go. So it says we look up. It says look up H look up if match count if. You know what? As of now I have covered H look up if count if look up and match. I'm gonna cover in the next few days. Let's see. Uh, I'm planning to take this video library to around 1500 videos. Okay, so lookup value is again the this area which uh, this range, these the names of the students. Table array is my data range. Where is my data range? This is my data range. I have you see it's showing us data because I named it data. And column index since I'm doing it for maths. So column index for maths was 2 and lookup range is I want to say 0 because I want to get an exact match is equal to 98. I actually did a mistake. It should be 3 because maths was 3. Let us see. Maths was 3. This is I mentioned the column numbers for you. Nice. Cool. So now I'm going to teach you one more thing how to copy the lookup. Now this is very specific, very specific. You need to be knowing what you need to do. See, uh, 
I have applied VLOOKUP over here, VLOOKUP over here. Now if you see in both these things, both these formulas, if you see C11 to C24 data, comma 2, comma 0. C11 to C24 data, comma 3, comma 0. What has changed? The column number. Now if I copy it, then if I just put the column number from here, whichever column number, it will give me the result. Before doing that, we need to do one thing. We need to edit this formula, press F2. We go into the edit mode of the formula. Select your lookup value range, value, and press F4. Press enter. Okay. Now do a control C and do a control V. It has given you the same result. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F2 again. I'm going to edit mode. Signs was in column 4. I just type in column 4 and enter. Answer again. And do we have the answer. I'm sorry. Yeah, I switched back to my native language Hindi. I'm so sorry. Uh, so we ha this is how we can copy VLOOKUP. And we can do the same for... Now this copying was for different in columns. See? Uh, we went from English to Maths, from Maths to Science. Now if you want to copy VLOOKUP just like this to other uh, students also all we need to do is just copy and paste you'll get the result the uh, the copy feature I taught you uh, was to move horizontally from here to here but to move it vertically all you need to do is just do cup cut copy and paste I hope you liked it uh, well uh, this train the Excel file shown in this training video is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com all you need to do is go over here and click on the training files when you go to the training files you can download this training file for free without any charges no I'm not looking for money uh, if you want to give me anything yes go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and give me a subscription on YouTube because when you do that it helps me in spreading the word that yes let's share knowledge I want to share my knowledge with everybody so this is my Facebook page do click on like I'm developing this as of now <laughs> and yes you go to my YouTube page and subscribe so whenever there's a new video uh, you will be updated by uh, YouTube so this was your Excel guru with an, a formula of Excel called VLOOKUP uh, VLOOKUP from different sheets or different uh, workbooks if you can want that so this is your Excel made easy guru signing up for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning everybody and welcome to Excel made easy this is your Excel guru with a new formula of Excel called H lookup yes this is a wonderful formula can help you in a lot many ways yes you heard me right H lookup something that not many people are aware of uh, it's just uh, a, a, a another version of V lookup V lookup is basically working upon the columns that is vertically H lookup works upon the rows that is horizontally so I have taken up an example of uh, the marks obtained by these students Mike, James, John and Karen in the months of January, February to November and I want to find out how in the month of November how many marks did Karen got alright did Karen receive so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to find how to do H lookup in two ways first one is my favorite using the formula syntax the second one is going using the FX feature of Microsoft Excel so every formula in Excel starts with an is equal to sign then you type in H lookup yes this is something good with uh, 2007 and above in Excel that whenever you type in the name of a formula uh, formulas rela relevant to that name show up below over here as of now only one is showing so if I just press tab this formula would automatically get entered and the parenthesis sign would also open so lookup value is November I want to find out how many marks that Karen got in the month of November so November then comes table array this is the complete table array yes select the complete table array then another comma row index now row index is now in the month of November in which row did uh, 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 in which row is the name of Karen reflecting it is row number five one two three four five comma five sorry comma five comma zero and voila you have your answer one same way another manner how to do it uh, you go to the home tab 
you go to formulas, you go to FX feature, type in H lookup, press go, double click, lookup value, this time is October, table array, we are know this is the complete range. I am selecting the complete range, so I selected the complete range now. Row index, row index is the index uh, row in which the name of the student is there, Karen. One, two, three, four, fifth row. So we'll type in five, I'm sorry, four, five, and then we come over here and type in zero, and we press OK. And here's the answer. Isn't it easy? This is H lookup for you. This file that you're looking at, uh, this Excel file being used in this video is available on my website, excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. Yes, that's my website. And you can go to the training files uh, tab and download the training, uh, the Excel file for free. So practice along, follow along. And yes, these are my social sites links. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. Yes, if you go to Facebook, this is our page. Do like us and become a part of F Excel Made Easy and you can post questions, answer questions on your own for the questions posted over here. So do do like us over here. And the video that you're looking at is on uh, my YouTube channel, X YouTube Excel Made Easy. And you can also choose to subscribe to my videos by signing in or signing up. So this will allow you to have access to my videos anytime uh, when they are as soon as they are loaded and YouTube would make you aware that new videos are loaded and you can find them easily. So this was H lookup for you and this is your Excel guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day. Excel made uh, happy Excel learning.